It's our story. Kathy Martinez, Berkeley, California. Well, one of the things、um, that the Americans with Disabilities Act is doing is it's it's changing the physical, I guess, the face of society. In that, when buildings are being built, they're being built accessibly,、um, and that's a good thing given the fact that our population is aging.、Um, in terms of physical barriers <coughs> for blind people. I think there's always,、um, you know, there's provisions that that accessible signage、um, be put into buildings, and the elevators have braille and things like that.、Um, I also think that even though we do have a law, and I think it's a very good law, it's the best law that's ever been passed in the world. There's still barriers that we all face that are invisible. And those barriers are, you know, people's attitudes, people's fears,、um, the myths and stereotypes that people have toward people with disabilities. And、um, I think now that there is a law, you know, people have become afraid.、Um, in some ways, I think they've become afraid of being sued. But for the most part, I think the law has been a very good thing.、Um, And I think the more and more people with disabilities are out in the community, contributing,、uh, being part of the community, being proactive, contributing members to the community. And as people see that,、um, at least the goal of, I'm sure Ed would agree with this. The goal of the independent living movement is that, you know, when that that people with disabilities be able to get out in the community and function. In the community, and that alone will、uh, reduce the barriers of fear, myth, and stereotype. I guess that's the the great hope, because those barriers are often for blind people and people in wheelchairs the biggest barriers to、uh, to remove toward community participation. The It's Our Story project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story project YouTube channel.